In this experiment, we will give information regarding how to perform single cantilever experiment. The aim of experiment is to determine the Young's modulus of the given material using single cantilever. The apparatus required for this experiment are meter scale, that is one of the material. This is a meter scale. For this metal, we have to find the Young's modulus. Some slotted weights. So these are the slotted weights, each of having 50 grams. This is a 50 gram slotted weights. Next we need a travelling microscope, so this is the travelling microscope and other things like a table lamp to read the uh, main scale uh, readings and the vernier readings. Then to find the Young's modulus we are using this formula that is y is equal to 4mzl cube divided by bx d cube where y is the Young's modulus of the given material, g is the acceleration due to gravity, l is the length of the cantilever from here to here, this is the length of cantilever, B is the breadth of cantilever, this is the breadth of cantilever, D is the thickness of the cantilever, this is the thickness of the cantilever, M is the applied mass, so at the free end, this is the what we are applying, this is the applied mass, and X is the <coughs> depression at the open end, that is due to load, so this cantilever is getting depression, so that uh, depression can be measured as X. So this is the formula we are using uh, to find the Young's modulus in this experiment. So next, the experimental setups are, so this is the single cantilever experiment where the material that is a steel scale is taken as a material where the one end is fixed and other end is free. So therefore this setup is called as the single cantilever. To find the depression we are using this traveling microscope. Then in this experiment the observations uh, to find the value of Young's modulus we need all these observations. For example the breadth of the beam as B. So which, is, which can be measured using the vernier caliper, calipers, however in this experiment it is already measured and given for this material. This is the P value here we mentioned, this is the nearly 2.42 cm and take that value and write here, that value noted that value and write here 4.2 cm and convert this in terms of meters that is 2.42 into 10 raised to minus 2 meters. And thickness of the beam we can measure using the screw case, however in this experiment it is already given. This is the thickness of the given material that is D is equal to 0.92 mm. Take this value and note it here, 0.92 mm. Mm means 0.92 that is 10 raised to minus 3 meter. Next L is the length of cantilever that is from this fixed point to this free end. So that is already, uh, the, that is also given, so here the length of the cantilever is given that is L is equal to 20 centimeter, so right here, L is equal to 20 centimeter and can be, in terms of meter we can write it as 20 into 10 raised to minus 2 meters. And anyway acceleration due to gravity is constant, that is G is equal to 9.8 centimeter, 9.8 meter per second square. Then to find the depression we are using traveling microscope, so this traveling microscope has its uh, least count and that least count can be measured using the formula as shown here that is LC is equal to value of 1 MST divided by total number of VST. Then how to find this LC, so le let me explain here. The value of 1 MST, so where this is a traveling microscope, so this is uh, this is the scale, this scale is known as the main scale, so here it is running from 0 to 1, 2, 3 and so on up to 50, so this scale is, is known as the main scale and in addition to that we have one more scale, so this is the scale, so this scale is considered as vernier scale, that is VST, to note on the VST we are using this scale. Then to find the LC of this traveling microscope, the same scale is here also, we have here also the same scale, so just let me explain how to find the LC of this one, either you can find the LC using this one or this one, because both scales are same, both scales are same. Then to find the LC, the formula is, note on the value of 1 MST, that is main scale division. For example here, so this is the main scale, this is the main scale, so this is the main scale. So to find the value of 1 MST, for example I am considering here 0 to 1, this is the main 0 to 1, so note on the value of 0 and next 1, can count the number of divisions from 0 to 1, if you count this one, so we have total 20 divisions, from 0, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, likewise there are total 20 divisions are there between 0 and 1. We need the value of 1 MST that is the what is the value of the first division to the next division. So this value we can get by that is 
total number of divisions between 0 and 1 is 20 then value of one mystery can be noted as 1 divided by 20 so which gives the value of one mystery because we have the total divisions between the mean scale 0 and 1 is 20 divisions in that value of one mst is that is 1 by 20 at times so that is how we can note on the value of value of one mst divided by the total number of vst so here we have vst this is a vst or you can take this one also either this one or this one so this is the vst so if you read the value of vst starting from this arrow mark and count all the number of divisions from this arrow mark to the the last divisions suppose if you want if you want to count this one so i'll just count this one this is one uh, uh, first arrow mark is the from here to here we have one division two division three division likewise four five then from here we have 10 this is these are the, this is the 10 division likewise this is the 20 division 30 40 50 so likewise we have total number of divisions on the vernier scale is 50 divisions right here this is the total number of vst is 50 and calculate this value 1 divided by 20 is 0 0.05 divided by 50 and the value is 0 0.001 centimeter next we'll explain how to find the value of Young's modulus uh, Young's modulus we need all these parameters from the observation we can get d value d value l value and g value in this formula only we need to find the value of mass and depression so now we can find the depression as a function of load from the from this table so this is the table we can find the uh, we can determine the, the depression produced in the single cantilever as a function of load as shown here okay to get this one so we have to set up the experiment as shown here so this is the single cantilever and now first point is is to set up the viewpoint of this whatever uh, whatever the uh, pin point that is needle of this one in the view of microscope that is the first point we have to set up so for that reason approximately place this traveling microscope in the view of that is the tip of this needle can be observed in the view of this microscopic view so that is a first approximation uh, first approximately we can uh, uh, get that uh, view of this needle in the my, uh, tally microscope view then gradually by observing through the microscope so just for this traveling microscope so that we can observe the that needle point in the traveling microscope view so now just adjusted so this needle can be viewed through the traveling microscope here so now it is we can see clearly the inverted image of this needle in the traveling microscope view you can where to set the height of this traveling microscope we can use this knob so this is the one screw we have here if you lose this one, I can adjust the height of this trolley microscope using this knob. Once in this way, we get this uh, needle in the view of trolley microscope, just fix it. So here, I have adjusted the tip of this uh, needle in the view of trolley microscope. So as shown here. That's why in the, in the field view of this trolley microscope. So this is the field of trolley microscope. We have cross wires, horizontal and vertical. So where we have inverted image of the inverted image of this needle in the trolley microscope field view as shown in this diagram. So this is looking in the form of inverted image. So this is the needle what we have. The tip of the needle exactly coincides the this horizontal cross wire of this horizontal line. So we have to make this adjustment by setting the height of the trolley microscope using this knob. I can adjust the height of this one and by the gradual backward or forward motion of the, this trolley microscope in the viewpoint of the this needle in the trolley microscope so once if it is if you set this one and now we can find the depression as a function of load using this table now we can find the depression of the single cantilever produced as a function of load in this map so where where so this is the single cantilever where we have not at loaded anything in the free end of the single cantilever so therefore i can write the first reading as 0 0 gram that is where there is no load 
at the free end of the single candle. So this is the first reading, 00 load. And note on the value of MSR and CVD of the traveling microscope. Now how to note on this MSR and CVD? I will just explain one reading. Once if you set this one, once if you set like this in the field view of traveling microscope, this is the needle, inverted image of this one and just adjust the height of the traveling microscope, just this tip touches the horizontal cross wire. Once if it is done in the absence of load that is m is equal to 0, 0 gram, then at this position note on the value of MSR and CVD as shown here. So where this is the scale MSR, this is the scale MSR and this is the scale CVD. So now to get the MSR value, consider the arrow mark of the CVD. This is the vernier scale where it is exactly coincides with the main scale. For example, in this example, this is 12, 12.05, 12.1, this is 12.15. So here the first arrow mark of this vernier scale coincides with 12.15. One five. So therefore, this is 12, this is 12.1, this is 12.15. So this is the MSR value. So MSR can be noted down where the CVD of this error reference line coincides with which division of this main scale. So that can be taken as MSR value. So I am writing in this example. So the value of MSR is, for this load, MSR is 12.15. Okay, next is to find, next is to find, once if it is noted down, this as MSR, next our job is to find what is the CVD value. CVD can be noted with one of the division using this vernier scale, where we have total 50 divisions. Out of 50 divisions, one of the division is exactly coincide with the main scale, uh, main scale this is the main scale. So let me consider one by one. So here, so carefully observe the which division is coincides with the main scale. So that division we have to note it as a CVD. For example, in this case, in this case, okay, in this example, the value of CVD is, if you look carefully, each division of the vernier scale, for example, this is one, second division, third division, five, fifth division, sixth division. Likewise, if you note down carefully of all the divisions here, the, for example, in this case, the tenth division is exactly coincide with one of the uh, division of the, this main scale. So therefore, I can consider this one tenth division as the CVD value. So where, I repeat, the CVD, that is the tenth division of this scale, the tenth division of this scale, is exactly coincide with main scale. So therefore, CVD value should be 10. So this is the 10. So write down the value of CVD as 10. Once if you note down the value of MSR and CVD, calculate the total reading using this formula where total reading is equal to MSR plus CVD into LC. So I'll just calculate 1. So MSR is now 12.15 plus CVD is now 10 into LC is, so we already noted the value of LC as 0 0.001 and substitute that is 0.001. Calculate this value, you will get the depression of the single cantilever when the load is equal to 0. So you will have some value, so that value is the depression of the single cantilever when there is no load. Next, increase the load, that is apply the load, for example, 50 gram at the free end of the single cantilever. So I am applying the load of 50 gram. 50 gram. So when you apply the load of 50 gram, so we can observe that the single cantilever, that is free end, we have some depression at the free end, so that this needle will go downwards. So, to find how much depression what we have without load and with this load. So, to find that, now adjust the height of this traveling microscope by using this knob. That is, by rotating this one, we can adjust the height now. So, initially, in absence of load, here we have. Once you apply the load, say for example 50 gram, so this needle may go here, maybe upward. So to get again this needle to this horizontal cross wire, so we have to adjust the height of the traveling microscope 
again it has to touch again it has to touch the horizontal cross wire of this one so the, if you do so now we can we have to make adjustments such that the traveling microscope height that is the inverted image of this needle now has to touch the horizontal line of the cross wire so to do that i am just adjusting this one the height of this one adjust by observing the knee tip of the needle again it has to touch the horizontal line of this one at this point at this point now note down the value of again as i explained the msr value and cvd value and calculate the total reading and similarly repeat the same procedure by applying the load for example 100 next apply the load 100 again adjust the height of this traveling microscope where the tip of this inverted tip image of this one can just touch the horizontal cross wire at that point note on the value of msr cvd and total rate. likewise you can repeat the same procedure by applying the different loads that is 150 200 250 300 likewise we can note on all the readings that is msr and cvd and corresponding total reading once if you reach the last reading so where for example this is my last reading for example this is the last reading i can adjust this one height by taking this one so next we can repeat the same procedure for now load decreasing this is the load decreasing and note on the value of msr and cvd for this reading and right here the total reading and now for the decreasing remove the load one by one again adjust the height of the traveling microscope note on the msr and cvd and write the total reading next repeat the same by removing the loads likewise we can remove the load by 50 grams intervals note on the corresponding msr and cvd and calculate the value of total reading so this is for the load decreasing so i repeat so here we are increasing the load here we are decreasing the load so note down the total reading that is calculate the total reading for load increasing and decreasing then to find the depression take the average of total reading increasing and decreasing that is a plus b divided by 2 and calculate that and substitute the value here and similarly repeat for the remaining readings once if you find this depression as a function of mass, next plot the graph of depression versus mass that is 0, 50, 100, 200 likewise and along the y-axis depression values and note on the value for example when you have the load 0 note the value of depression and 50 gram likewise so we can plot the graph so as a function of mass the depression can be plotted like this from this plot take the slope that is take the slope a b c from this plot we can find the slope we can find the slope as a b divided by b c note on the value what is the value of a b and note on the value what is the value of b c and substitute here and you can find the value of slope so this slope can be used to calculate the Young's models with a once if you note this slope that is AB value and BC value that is in, in terms of because we consider this depression in terms of centimeter and mass in terms of gram. So we need to convert that centimeter to meter and gram to kg. So where centimeter to meter just a multiplication of 10 raise to minus 2. Gram to kg that is multiplication of 10 raise to minus 3. So if you substitute these two parameters we can convert this centimeter to meter gram to kg. And take this value this obtained value to determine the value of Young's models where the formula is 4mgl cube divided by bx d cube where 4gl cube divided by b d cube where the slope gives actually ab means ab means this is the value of depression bc means value of mass but actually here in this formula we need mass divided by depression from the plot we got x divided by m that is depression divided by mass so to get that so this value has to to be in the or has to take in terms of reciprocal so therefore we can substitute this 4 gl cube that is 1 divided by slope one where g is already known substitute the g value next l value is already given substitute this l value and b value is already given that is b value and next d value is also given and from this plot we can find the value of slope substitute here and finally we can find calculate the value of Young's models